Thank you for joining us to learn more about the Product Configurator app for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central by Simcrest. Our Product Configurator is a Sales Configurator, Production Configurator, and Assembly Configurator dependent upon how you want to use it. It is a fully integrated with Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central rule-based configurator. So you're going to be able to answer a questionnaire to configure products that are not require manufacturing if you're going to be using the sales configurator. And if you do want to use manufacturing and you uh, want to create an actual bill of materials and run it through the production schedule of Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central, you can use our production configurator and help manufacture a specific production bomb and routing. This is going to assist your sales department in configuring the right solution for your clients. Alrighty, here we are in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you the sales configurator and how it's going to assist your sales team. So we're going to go in here and we're just going to create a sales invoice. Okay. And let's go to uh, one of my favorite clients, Deerfield. I'm going to create a sales invoice for them. And up here, we're going to go up to the configurator for the lines. We're going to choose the sales configurator. And from here, you can see this is going to bring up the options that you're going to have for the first question. So this first question can be, hey, what are you building today? You know, what type of product, uh, dependent upon what your, your rules. So we're going to be build, building a computer today. So you can see we've got the selected box over here, a tower or a cabinet. So we're going to go ahead and do a desktop cabinet. So we're going to choose the desktop cabinet, we're going to go through, we're going to choose some of these options, and then right here you can see we've got the option for an IDE or a SCSI controller. And so we're going to say, no, we're going to want the SCSI controller, and click Next. And you can see that it's going to get the options uh, of only the SCSI disk controllers. But if I go back and I choose IDE controller, it's going to only give me the options of the IDE disks that I'm able to use. And so that's where the triggers come into play of you know, triggering answers based upon previous questions or previous questions, uh, you know, having triggers to see what kind of questions are then going to be asked. So then we're going to go through and we're just going to click through here. I'm going to just do all the defaults so you can see how it works. Uh, as you can see, it's building the result table down below. And we're at here we're going to say, name your computer. This is John's supercomputer, AI, because this is the most state-of-the-art computer in the world. Uh, next, and finish. So what we're going to do here is now going to explode all of the components here onto the sales invoice for you to post or send over to the client for approval. All right, so we've jumped over here into the uh, configurator setup. So I want to show you a little bit about the uh, configurator setup. So you can see here that we've got some of the sales, whether or not it's going to create a bill of material after you use the sales. Again, you can only use bill of materials if you are running on the uh, premium version of Business Central. And so let's go into the sales configurator and show you a little bit how that's set up. As you can see here, we've got 11 different levels of questions. And again, you, this can be as complex or as easy as you want it to be. And uh, we've just got your, your descriptions and your codes over here and your different levels. And then you've got options. So let's go into this IDE disk controller. And so this is the question where I showed you that we had those triggers. You can see here, you've got the, uh, you can choose which one is the default in the setup. You can choose what the description is, multiple descriptions, whether or not they have no quantity. You can have a default, min, max quantity, uh, unique answer, no answer allowed. And then, um, so let's go into the trigger itself. So you can have the trigger here on the question, which is where we are right now. You can see that there is an, a line number 1000 and. So we're going to go into that trigger line that says, okay, if the previous question disk is select this controller and you choose IDE, this question will appear. And you can have triggers on both questions and answers. And so you can have different answers dependent upon uh, available what you answer in the previous questions. Okay, now let's look at the production configurator. The difference between the production and the sales is the sales, you can configure different items. The production configurator, you are doing a actual production configuration. So you're working from an item. Let's do this on a sales order here with one of my favorite clients, as I said, Deerfield. Mr. Kevin Wright would like us to uh, build him a bicycle. So let's go ahead and do one bicycle quantity. You're gonna get an error message that says it's lower. That's fine. We are now building this bicycle. So uh, from here, you can either do a firm planned, released, 
planned or simulated production order, and we're going to do a firm plan production order. And uh, from here, it's going to load the default bill of material for this bicycle. Uh, from there, we can choose black, red, silver. You, again, you can do the different uh, quantities, different selections. Uh, we're just going to go through here and click through here to get you out of this demo as fast as we can. Uh, from there, we're going to finish this bicycle, and a firm plan production order 101004 has now been created for your manufacturing team to make Mr. Kevin Wright the bicycle of his dreams. Don't forget to stay connected with us. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter. Find us on LinkedIn. Go to our website. Give us a call. Email us or check out our blog. We look forward to talking with you. Have a great day.